Well, I'm not, but I'd like to one day. I've enjoyed making and watching videos and films for a very long time now, and what I've come to realise is that by far my favourite genre is animation. There's something about watching animated movies that really inspires me. They just seem to have this sort of magic or wonder about them, I don't know, is that a good way to describe it? I suppose it's just the fact that you can do whatever you want with an animated movie, and as a result it's kind of one of my dreams to make one of my own, as unlikely as that dream may be. I've got little to no idea about animation aside from a few poorly done stop motion bits here and there, Furthermore, if I really want to do this, I'll have to learn about storyboarding, music, character design, and so on. However, for today, I'd just like to focus on ideas. I've been doing a lot of thinking on how to start this process, so I'll share with you what I've got so far. So, my rough idea involves a main character who's he's not feeling fulfilled with himself, you know, he's not very happy at the moment, and he's sort of got a negative view of himself and the world. Anyway, he lives and works at the bottom of this giant mountain in this fantasy-style world. Imagine, like, a village in the Himalayas. Now, here's the thing. In this village, there's an event that happens once every few years which involves people racing to the top of the mountain, and whoever gets there first is granted whatever they want essentially. It's a bit cringe at the moment, but it's a work in progress. Anyway, the main character will somehow accidentally enter into the contest, and he'll be at a big disadvantage, but he'll meet weird characters along the way and go through different locations and that. You know, and I could put a couple of twists in there, and you get the idea. I think the good thing about this idea is it has a lot of flexibility when it comes to plot. For example, maybe the guy doesn't get to the top first. Maybe the guy dies, and the group that he's with have to carry on without him using the lessons that they've learned from him on the way. The other good thing about it is that it leaves a lot of creativity for locations and characters that I can use. Like, I could have the protagonist travel through a bamboo forest with loads of earth golems in, or across a frozen lake, or a field full of giant flowers. You know, there's lots of wiggle room there. The main thing I'm struggling with at the moment though is it's a little bit generic. You know, it's a little bit... Man goes on quest uh, that he wasn't meant to go on. Whoa! You see what I mean. Plus, whenever I try and edit the idea, I realise I'm just like ripping off a movie that I like. Man gets to the top and then finds out there's actually nothing there and that the secret was was within himself the whole time. It's Kung Fu Panda. Evil person reaches the top first and uses his wish to create a new kingdom and control the world. It's just Castle in the Sky. So it's very hard to come up with anything completely original or that's representative of what I want to display without being influenced by the films I like and am inspired by. That's not necessarily a bad thing though. I do think if I'm eventually going to try and do my own movie, I need to look at what other films have done right and what I enjoy about them. I'll just quickly go through some examples. I was only really introduced properly to the works of Studio Ghibli, in particular Hayao Miyazaki, within sort of the last year when my best friend showed me Spirited Away. I immediately just became some sort of weeb, and fell in love with the worlds that Miyazaki creates, such as The Bath House, and then in other films like Castle in the Sky, My Neighbor Totoro, Howl's Moving Castle. I feel like Studio Ghibli deserves a whole video because there's so much to say about it, but films like Spirited Away kinda check every box when it comes to what draws me into a film. Uh, you know, you've got the weird made up fantasy creatures, pretty landscape shots, water, cute looking things, a really good soundtrack, more water, and you get the point. I'm sort of an aesthetics kind of person and when I see a style that I really like I sort of become a little bit obsessed with it. Uh, which leads me on to Wes Anderson. I think Wes Anderson has a lot to offer inspiration wise when it comes to how to compose shots in animation. Uh, like in Isle of Dogs he does an amazing job of creating 2D landscapes but simultaneously having so much depth and detail in each scene. I also think his use of bold colour and silhouettes is really interesting and it adds to the fast paced absurdity of his stories. Then there's a couple of Pixar ones like uh, Wally, Up, Ratatouille, plus DreamWorks Kung Fu Panda as well. And of course there's Aardman animations with the work of Nick Park in Wallace and Gromit, particularly The Wrong Trousers which is my favourite Wallace and Gromit, and then stuff like Chicken Run as well, which just seems to be shown like 20 times on TV around Christmas. But I'm not complaining, it's a good movie. And then there's loads of other films that I've watched recently, for example Kubo and the Two Strings deserves a mention, and there's going to be films I watch in the future that I can take things from and use in future videos to help me make decisions about the direction I take my film in. There's also quite a few animated shorts as well, some of them are just on YouTube that I 
recommend people watching. If you have a bit of spare time, that includes Piper, which I don't believe you can find the full thing on YouTube, but you'll you'll find it somewhere. I don't know, look up a put locker. It's the most adorable short movie I've ever seen. And then there's Lost and Found, which is on YouTube, and that has a really good use of practical effects and looks amazing. It's a bit of an emotional roller coaster though, so just prepare yourself for that. So of course I'll be going into everything I've talked about today in more detail in future videos. My plan at the moment is to pick an area of film, let's say story, and then I'll just do sort of a video analysis type thing on it, referring back to other films, and then using that to sort of apply it to my film. Plus I might also try out some different styles of animation, you know, Maybe I'll do claymation. Maybe I'll try to do some painting. Maybe I'll try a flip book or something. I don't know. Well, I had this idea that was like stop motion with like cut up pieces of paper. That sounds pretty hard though. But yeah, I might dedicate some episodes to just creating sort of like a three to five second clip using different methods that I've seen. Anyway, that's enough for today though. Uh, I just wanted to give a brief outline on what I'm going to be doing over the next couple of months. At least that's what I'm hoping. So we'll just see where it leads, I guess. Most likely to nothing, but that's fine. Okay. Bye. Actually, I need to take this with me. <laughs>